Things aren't exactly cooking for a couple of businesses in the middle of a construction zone in Newport News. Yeah, Ted on your side got an email about Viking Burger, a veteran-owned business that is being forced to cut back on its hours in order to survive. So our Stephanie Harris went to check it out and found they're not the only business struggling there. Yeah, there are several small businesses over there that are suffering, and they're afraid they might be in danger of closing down because of this road work that's going on on Warwick Boulevard. Construction began a year ago, and there is a very good reason for all of this work, but it's killing the business owners who ask us to please help. It's lunchtime. Take a menu. At Viking Burger. Once you come, it's like you got to come back. If you can get here. This is killing us. <laughs> construction started at Warwick Boulevard in Bland a year ago. This busy corridor is a primary evacuation route, but the roadway routinely floods, so the city is elevating it three feet. No question the work needs to be done, but. There's nothing happening here right now. No construction. Yet the cones remain standing right in the way of David Komen's profits. And we're not the only business that suffered. The Oriental Market down the street reports sales are also down between four and five thousand dollars a week. Yeah, very hard, but I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Ten on your side reached out to the city. A spokesperson told us they must block lanes for the safety of construction workers, but always make sure that business entrances are not blocked. Kim Lee said the closed lane will reopen in two weeks and the entire project will be done by the end of November. Meantime, they are adjusting the traffic control devices to allow for better access to the businesses and to put up a sign to show that Viking Burger is open. Although they did cut back on business hours, as soon as they posted it to social media, customers navigated and waited in traffic to support them. It would be a shame for a small business to be shut down because of traffic. Especially one that customers crave. Anything with the Viking sauce, just, just delicious sauce. One note here, the customers tell me that it is easier to get into those businesses than to get out because of oncoming traffic that won't let you get back in. So if you're out there driving, you might want to consider helping out the businesses by being a courteous driver. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.